In this episode, we're going to talk about what is a dog training swipe file and why you need one if you want to grow your dog training business, if you want to write better ads, if you want to get more leads and get more clients. The swipe file is going to make your life so much easier. And the best part, it's completely free. Stick with me. I'll explain more. Professional copywriters are the guys who write copy, not copyright, like what lawyers do to file a trademark or um, copywriting a book, but copywriting, W-R-I-T-I-N-G. These are the guys that write ads or they write the text that goes on websites, basically anywhere where you would use words that sell, like a brochure or business card, like I mentioned, a website. Copywriters, professional copywriters are the guys that big businesses go to, to write the words that sell to get people to take action. So when a professional copywriter gets a new assignment, typically he doesn't just sit down and just pull things from the air. What he does is he goes to his swipe file. That's a file on his desk or on his computer where he's collected over the period of months or years, or even decades, examples of other copy, other ads or brochures or um, websites, whatever it may be, that he has seen or has information that those websites, that copy works. It works to convert interested prospects into actual leads. And it may not necessarily be something from specifically the same industry, although it can be to some extent. Uh, it may be from other industries, but it may be just an example of a great headline that could be adapted to what their current assignment assignment entails. So for example, um, if I'm having trouble coming up with a headline on my own, I'll go to my swipe file and I'll look at other industries. Typically, um, it could also be other businesses. Let's say you're in the United States There's another business on the, in Australia, um, that's using a headline. You really like that headline. You can kind of modify it to tweak it, to make it your own. So not copy, but, modeling that headline. And you could do the same thing with pretty much all aspects of a campaign or different campaigns, putting them together to make your own. You're, got, you're always going to put your own spin on it. You're going to improve it. What you need to do is you need to always be aware as you you know, play with the internet, as you drive through town, as you look at things, be aware of what other people are doing with their advertising and take, take note pay special attention to those ad campaigns that really grab you and make you want to buy their product or service. And especially, especially the ones that make you reach for your wallet and pull out your credit card, because those are the ones, if it works on you, it's probably working on a lot of other people as well. I'm going to show you some examples of how you can take even good ads from other or good copy from, from other industries and apply it to your own dog training website copy, your dog training ads. I mean, even when we start new uh, Google ads campaigns, as many of you know, I have a Google ads agency where we run campaigns for predominantly dog training businesses, but other pet related industries. And what we did, especially when we first started running more and more campaigns for dog training business owners, we were looking nationally at what other dog trainers were doing and we were kind of picking and choosing the best elements. You know, maybe one company referenced or used a certain kind of headline. And so we would take that and then tweak it a little bit so that it didn't violate copyright. Um, and then maybe somebody else had a really great call to action and we modified our call to action to kind of model that person's call to action. And so we picked and choose all the best elements from all what we felt were the best ads put them together into our own ad and ended up with a really, really powerful ad. Now there's more steps to it than that, because then once you've done that, you need to come up with additional ads, tweaks and stuff so that you can A, B test one ad against the other to come up with a, a just amazingly powerful ad. And eventually you get to the point where you just can't beat it. The one that is outperforming all of your other tests is what's called the control and you're constantly trying to beat your control. But at a certain point, at least when it comes to Google ads, because there's not a whole lot of space to put a lot of text, you're gonna get to a point where you've got an almost unbeatable ad. 
Okay, so let's say I've gone out and I've approached 10 different veterinary clinics, and of those, maybe two out of 10, I've developed really good rapport with. Maybe I've made a connection with their veterinary technician or their veterinarian or their office manager, and I found out that they give a little kit, a little you know, new puppy owner kit to new clients who come in with puppies. And I say, hey, you know, would you mind? I've got a, I'd like to create a little flyer or a little insert that you can stick in your puppy kit that talks about seven things that they can do to make raising a puppy easier or housebreaking a puppy really fast or something. So something along those lines, or it could be anything. It could be um, you know, I, I threw up a, a, a new landing page or a new website and I need ideas for headlines. So I'm going to go to my, my, my file here, my swipe file, and I'm going to look through it to see if I can get some inspiration. I'm going to show you how I do this, how professional copywriters do this. I'm going to look for something that kind of jumps out at me um, and catches me that I might be able to use for the puppy insert that I'm, I'm planning to make. So let's see, top mistakes that make homeowners prime targets for burglars. So this is really hard to do on the fly, but just to give you a, a very basic example, top mistakes that new puppy owners make after adopting a dog, something like that, right? So you, you're taking the general format and you're modeling it and you're adapting it to the dog training industry. Let's see what else we can find. Why mammograms fail up to 50% of the time and how to improve your detection rate to 86%. So something like that, I might modify it to say something like why new puppy owners fail up to 50% of the time and how to raise the best puppy ever. You see where I'm going with this? Let's see what else we got. Uh, make your dog a tax-free millionaire. That that probably wouldn't work. Uh, what you should never bring to an IRS audit. Um, that we might be able to do something with. We might be able to use that headline and say, um, what you should never bring to your first puppy training class. Right? I mean, that's a pretty good headline. If you saw that and you had a new puppy, you'd probably want to read the accompanying article. Here's a really good one. Nine secrets that hotels don't want you to know. So let's modify that one. Nine secrets that dog trainers don't want you to know. Right? Really, really good headline. So you can go through your swipe file. You know, anytime you see an, an ad, and you know, I've done this over the years with all kinds of different, um, basically, basically anywhere I go, I could be sitting in the waiting room at the dentist office and flipping through a golf magazine and come up with some really good headlines that I can adapt for dog training. Uh, top mistakes that make homeowners prime targets for burglars. I might be able to modify that and say top mistakes that new puppy owners make when bringing home a new puppy. Let's see what else. This, by the way, th these are headlines by uh, a copywriter named Paris Lampropolis. And this was actually included as a free bonus in a Clayton, Clayton Make Peace copywriting course about years ago. Um, um, so, so you can, you know, you can get these, you can find these types of headlines and call to action and how to write bullet points and all this stuff in copywriting books. I have an extensive library of copywriting books as well as copywriting courses like this one um, that I've used over the years that have literally made me millions of dollars. Uh, how to get a complete fat burning muscle toning workout in just 30 minutes a week. How to get an extremely well-trained dog in just 30 minutes a week. How to get your puppy to listen to you anywhere you go in just 30 minutes a week. So you see, you see how I'm taking this stuff and I'm using it for inspiration to write really powerful headlines. Uh, how companies and governments use your personal data against you. Um, you know, how dog food companies use, uh, I don't know, <laughs> they don't always work, but, um, you know, you could use it for inspiration, how to retrieve a letter by a letter you mailed by mistake. Um, five little known ways to reduce arthritis pain without painkillers and 
inflammatories and anti-inflammatories. Hint, one is to eat more grapes. What if we change this and we said five little known ways to train your dog without bribery or cookies? Hint, one, one is to blah, blah, blah. You just fill in the blank. Get these secrets to a healthier, wealthier, more successful life. Um, you know, how can you modify that? Get these secrets of a professional dog trainer to get your puppy to listen to you. Let's see what else we got here. Free advice from the world's greatest collection of experts. How about free advice from the world's greatest collection of dog training experts? Simple, 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 and still a really, really powerful headline. Success stories from dog owners like you. You know, you could put this on your website. Instead of saying testimonials, you could say success stories from dog owners like you. All in the sun, you've got great, great copy on your website. And you didn't have to pay thousands or tens of thousands of dollars for a professional copywriter. All you did was you went to your swipe file and you pulled up some examples of good copy, just like we're doing here. And you modified it to work for what you're doing with your dog training business. Yours free when you reply within 11 days. Top mistakes that make blah, blah, blah. We saw that one before. Why doctors never get sick? How doctors stay well while treating sick people all day. I mean, these are, this is really, really compelling stuff. Everyone's telling me I'm crazy to give you all this free stuff, but I'll let you decide. If it, the, these are all tested headlines. So if we were to modify this, let's say for your, your dog training website, everyone's telling me I'm crazy to give you all this free dog training stuff, but I'll let you decide. You know, and then you can li literally go through if you wanted to and probably adapt the copy to fit with whatever offer you're making. So you don't need to be necessarily a copywriting genius. Now, you, I do recommend that you buy copywriting books and you buy copywriting courses because these are skills that will help you grow your business for the rest of your life. But once you have the basics and the fundamentals, you're going to go to your swipe file for inspiration for basically writing every aspect of your sales copy that you use on your website or your brochures or your mailers or your postcards or that kind of stuff. So hopefully this has been helpful. Guys, I have used these secrets to make me well over $6 million through the course of my dog training career with both my three dog training companies and my subscription website, dogproblems.com, which we ran for years and made us lots and lots of money, paid off the house, paid off all three cars, funded a life in Costa Rica and Panama and Colombia, largely off what I've taught you just in this video. Really, really powerful stuff. Hey, now let me pitch you a little bit. If you need to grow your dog training business, if you're tired of being right where you are and you want to kick it up a notch, you want to basically be able to, you know, maybe hire some employees or take your wife or your husband out for uh, a nice meal in Paris every now and then. The best way to do it, in my experience, is with Google Ads. Google Ads consistently delivers the high quality leads, the desperate dog owners with money in hand who are ready to spend it with you. The problem with Google Ads is that it is insanely complicated. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can blow through a lot of money fast. So what I do with my company, Browning Direct, which you can read more about at dogtrainertoolbox.com, we manage everything for you. We take care of it all. All you have to worry about is answering the phone because desperate dog owners are gonna be calling you every day, every week, every month. It has literally transformed the business of over 100 dog training business owners at this point. Works really, really well. If you'd like to learn more, I explain everything that we're doing at dogtrainertoolbox.com. Read through the page, you click on in the upper left-hand corner, there's a box that says expert Google ads management for dog trainers only. Read through that page if it makes sense. And if you're ready to roll, there's a link to my calendar booking app at the bottom. Click on that, book a free consultation just so we can get on the phone and make sure that this would be a good fit for helping you grow your dog training business. If you do that, you will be the you will literally be on your way to really improving your life, growing your dog training business, 
and helping a lot of desperate dog owners with what it is that you know about training dogs. I'm Adam Katz for DogTrainerToolbox.com. Talk to you soon, guys.